What inspired you to want to write a book, The Laws of Human Nature? Well, you know, each of my books kind of comes at a historical moment. So the 48 Laws of Power was at a moment where I think people were being really hypocritical about power. Uh, there were a lot of self-help books out there that were so soft and gentle. It, like everything is sort of Pollyannish about power and you just need to be positive and have an open attitude and be nice to people and you'll get ahead. And it really pissed me off because my experiences in Hollywood and elsewhere and in, in, in all the different jobs I've had is that's not what the world is like. So I felt angry. And when I'm angry, I write a book. Mm. And so mastery, I was really angry because I thought people don't know how to make things anymore. They're so techno obsessed. They're so into their algorithms. They're so um, think that they can get anything easily or quickly. And we're going to find ourselves in a world where bridges are going to fall apart. People don't know how to design things or make things or write a book anymore. And I was really worried about it. So I wrote, I was angry. So I wrote Mastery. So the laws of human nature, I think we've lost a sense of psychology of what really motivates people. I think people were living in times where people have never been more self-obsessed, self, more self-absorbed for whatever reasons. And Social been media maybe a little bit? Social media plays yeah. a huge role in that. And so people are kind of locked into their own little world. You may not realize this, but I think that the source of most of the pain that people feel in their life, the source of most of their failures in life, why they hit a wall, why they can't get any further in life, is because they don't understand people. They don't understand mm. what motivates. They can't get inside the mind of the other person. They're always thinking of themselves. And because of that, um, they don't have the ability to persuade or influence people to get them to move in the direction they want. Their relationships with people are very thin and brittle. There's no real deep empathic connection. Specifically to today's times is what you're saying. Yes. Got it. It's getting worse and worse out there. But also a lack of self-awareness. As you were pointing out in the beginning, everyone thinks it's the other person mm -hmm. that's narcissistic or aggressive mm -hmm. or is envious mm -hmm. or has a dark side or is repressed or is short-sighted. Not me, no. So... Um, a lack of self-awareness and the lack of what really motivates people. And I, and I encounter it all the time. I do a lot of consulting with very high-powered people um, in business, in politics. All over the world. You would go all you over would the walk world. out to the Middle East for a month because somebody was hiring you to uh, um, yeah. help them out with decisions they were making. Yeah. And I was always shocked at how they could be so smart about some things but be absolutely ignorant about people. Like they hired somebody who ended up being the partner who stole the company. As if a person like that doesn't leave traces behind them in their past that mm. they were going to do that. Um, you know, on and on and on. I could give you a hundred different stories of the same thing. So I'm always shocked at how people don't have a sense of the psychology of the people they're dealing with. They don't know how to judge people's character. They're basing their opinions of people on their appearance whether someone's charming or good looking or articulate, and they're not looking behind the, behind the surface, behind the mask. So that anger uh, kind of fueled this book and was sort of one of the main reasons I wrote it.